Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any color you choose. Dulux, let's color. Choosing a wall colour really sets the mood of a room, and it's tempting to play it safe. From brights to darker tones, Matsela Moshokwa of Diaro Living welcomes us to her world of colour and design. Diaro Living is an interior design and decorating company, and what we do is we transform spaces, and we call it Diaro Living in particular because we impact on your everyday life. I always say as a decorator, I don't have, they always ask me, do you have a signature? I don't believe in my signature, I believe in the client that I'm working with signature. And what we do is we feed off from them and then whatever the, the transformation in the space will reflect the client instead of reflecting me. I prefer pushing the boundaries with colour. The more, the better. Most of the time, client briefs are very neutral. So it's up to us to go you know, go in there and kind of suggest bright colours. So what's nice about colour is that, for me, I believe in colour and colour therapy and what colours mean in different rooms and what they create. And colour is one of the cheapest ways to actually transform a room. This was an exciting brief because it's, it's a very big family. It's five kids and two adults. So there's only one little boy that's six years old and everybody else is over 20 years old. We have the kitchen, which extends into the, we call it the breakfast dining area that accommodates the big family. And then a lounge again with a television. So it was supposed to be just one long room that has, that incorporates the family. And this is, this has become the family room. The dark wall does, it creates contrast and whatever you're gonna put on the wall is gonna stand out. So for example, it's, it's almost like a gallery space. So when you walk in, you first of all, it catches your eye and whatever else you put there is emphasized. And again, it looks very nice with the colors that we went for, like the cream whites, the off whites, and the kind of raw exposed wood that we went for in the room. So, so that was the inspiration to just bring in an intensity and to bring, bring in some drama. Because we use raw wood or exposed wood, we wanted to kind of tone it down with the metals and have metals that are more, more quieter. So brass was our metal of choice uh, in this particular room because it's got colour, an element of colour in it. And unlike silver, which is, you know, it's just silver, there's nothing, you know, besides the texture of it being shiny. Brass, there's a lot you can do with brass because it can be textured, it's got colour, and it actually complements the, the wood finishes that we went for. Part of the brief was having fabric that is wipeable because there is a six-year-old in the family. We use vinyl for, for the couches. So we were quite restricted with colour when it comes to vinyl, so we had to add it elsewhere, which is in the accessories. And the accessories, we decided to use some velvet, so it's plush fabric, but with a lot of colour in it. The walls are still neutral, and then we use the pop of colour on the, on the accessories. I really enjoy mirrors and anything that has a bit of a shine to it or a sheen because it adds a bit of glamour in the space. So again, the client is not very over the top glamorous, but they wanted elements of like, you have the muted, the raw wood and the jute uh, uh, rugs, and then you kind of bring in the glamour with the shiny surfaces. So you'll see the whole house has, each room has mirrors with beautiful glamorous frames and, and, and ornate frames. You go into all the rooms, they're very different. So all the different personalities are coming through of the kids. The brief was anything French. So we went with the French furniture and I thought what would be nice and classic would be, imagine a striped wallpaper. It's very hard to find a horizontal wallpaper this thick. So I had to paint it. Horizontal lines make a space look wider and then the thicker they are as well, the, 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 it elongates the room as well. So it looks like it's got three meter ceilings, but it actually is the normal 2.7. We had to source everything French, so it's this whole kind of wood painted, carved uh, sleigh beds, 
uh, with the mirrors, with the other accessories and the furniture around. And then the, the pops of color that she wanted as well was duck egg and like a baby pink. So that's where we added those in the scatter cushions. But everything is very, very simple, very elegant, very ladylike. So she's quite a girl's girl and she said she wanted something pretty and something French. A tip on how to, to put stripes all around the room or just as a feature wall is when the colors are neutral. So neutral colors, it's not so bold and in your face, but you still get the same impact. So that's why I used, because this room was neutral, I used the neutral tones. But in the other room, because it's a feature wall, that's where we played with color. This is the six year old bedroom. And the inspiration behind this was that it's kids' rooms. And what I do with children's rooms, I don't like doing the typical blues and pinks, you know, blue for, blues for boys and pinks for girls. So I like mixing it up and actually playing around with more color. So his favorite color was red. So then we needed to incorporate the red. So what I did is I, I cooled off the wall with the gray. All these, this furniture, for example, the bedside tables and the dresser were all painted. So we found them in wood and then we painted them the colors that we wanted because again, it is very difficult to find furniture at the shop that is the, the, the correct color. I did the stripe wall as a feature wall is that I wanted to incorporate as many colors as possible. And the only way I felt I could do that was to have stripes again. We've got about three different uh, shades of blue complementing the, the actual blue on the furniture. And again, that's me adding a lot more color without actually overwhelming the space. Striped walls are a great way to bring in colours that add interest to a room and make it appear larger. Whether as a feature wall or throughout, it gives a room a wow factor. For a visual impact, hanging oversized pieces of art on a featured dark wall is a good way to add some drama to the room without being overwhelming. It's a sure way to draw attention to your decorative art pieces. It's time to get excited about wall colours and go for it. The use of color blocking is effective in creating a space within a space to showcase the beautiful features in your home. Darker muted neutrals in the ultra matte finish of Dulux Rich Matte will serve as the perfect backdrop for your paintings as they help to create unity in a room yet complement colorful furniture and objects. Classic Victorian styling suits muted natural colors like dusty greens, powder pinks and creams, chocolate browns and charcoal. For a contemporary look, paint your skirting boards, architraves and mouldings a clean, crisp white, as this will give the space a cosy, welcoming feel. The Dulux Visualizer app now features a photo visualizer, which allows you to decorate from an existing photo. Select an existing photo, choose a Dulux color of your choice and tap the wall area in the photo to start decorating. A horizontal striped paint effect can easily change a neutral room to something with a pop of color. From flamingo fun to azure blue, your creative options are endless. Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any color you choose. Dulux, let's color.